There's been a lot of discussion in the media recently about some of these larger volume home builders in Australia, uh, which, are, which are going bankrupt. And this has been happening over the last couple of years. And one of the biggest uh, contributing factors of that situation has been the effects of, of COVID on the cost increases in materials, in labor, the delay in obtaining materials, and also the fact that these large volume builders enter into fixed price contracts with their clients, which means there's no provision for any variation to the contract price should uh, any, any costs escalate through no fault of the builder. So I think with a lot of the, the slim margins that these builders operate on, it doesn't take too much external pressure before uh, these builders might come into a bit of difficulty and obviously leaving a lot of their customers uh, in a terrible situation. Um, they're left with half finished homes, they've lost money, etc. etc. It's very stressful. In addition to that situation, we have the impending increase of the minimum energy rating standard from the current six stars to seven stars. Now that doesn't sound like a huge leap, but actually the amount of energy reduction required to uh, maintain the thermal comfort of a home from six to seven stars, it's depending on what your climate zone is, um, it's a significant re reduction of energy that's required. So in the Ballarat, Central Victoria region, where I do a lot of, a lot of my work, a 7.5 star house uses almost half the amount of energy that a six star house uses or needs. So you can imagine when these conventional homes with a 90 mil stud frame, truss roof, they're already maxed out with the amount of insulation that they can fit in their walls or, or in the roof. Uh, they're still trying to get away with using the, the cheapest window products that they can, but they haven't modified their design to be the thing which is really giving the reduction in energy demand. It doesn't matter how much insulation you use or the, the best window products available out there. If you don't have the design right, you're not going to get very far. You're certainly not going to get up to seven stars. Well, actually, you shouldn't be able to get seven stars, but we'll see how things pan out towards the end of the year. So the large builders and even some of the building advocacy groups are calling for a delay in this transi transition to seven stars, stating that the additional cost required to get to that standard is going to be an additional burden on an already strained construction industry in Australia, which is a fair point. Um, but I think what we shouldn't lose sight of is the reason why we have these energy efficiency standards. At the end of the day, it's for the comfort of the people who you are building homes for. We are reducing uh, the draw on, on natural resources through um, a non-renewable um, energy production and supply. And we are making homes uh, more affordable uh, to live in and to run whilst improving um, essentially the, the quality of life for people who are living in them. The shift in focus that I would like to see is rather than the large builders focusing on the quality of appearance of a building or the perceived quality of the materials or the sheer size of a home, so multiple bathrooms, multiple living areas, uh, and then you know the complaints about the increase in costs becoming more unaffordable for people to build houses like this. As an alternative, what about making these homes smaller? A smaller home is going to less use less resources, less materials, less labor. It's going to be cheaper to build. But with that same budget, you would normally spend on a larger six star home, put more money into better windows, better construction methods, 
alternatives to 90 mil stud balls, which are going to get you a better quality, um, higher air tightness of your building envelope. But at some point, these off the plan designs need to, they need to change, they need to develop. They need to have more of a, a focus on passive solar design, orientation, sun shading, with a whole range of options depending on the orientation of the block, which owners happen to choose to build on. It's expensive to build no matter how large or small your home is. So why have that extra bur burden of higher running costs in addition to the, to the cost of the home that you've just built? So I'm sitting in my home here that you can see behind me. It's a wonderful autumn sunny day. I've opened up the windows. It's getting uh, too warm in here, which is a, a good problem to have. So we've just spent our first year in here. So we built a three bedroom home at 117 square meters, which is very modest by Australian standards, well below the average size per person who dwells in the building. So our, our home is all electric. We have an electric heat pump hot water service. We have one very small reverse cycle air conditioner, which does heating and cooling. We have um, all electric cooking, electric lights. So I've only got one utility bill and to run the whole house, it cost us around about a thousand dollars. Also I forgot to mention, we have a water tank. So we have a water pump which runs off electricity to pump water into the home. And we have a, uh, a waste treatment system to deal with our black water, which has a mechanical pump, which is also using electricity. So all these appliances um, required to run this home. And even with the rising power prices, we don't have solar panels at this stage. It costs us around about $1,000. I hear stories of people's um, gas ducted heating their winter bill alone being $1,000. And in addition to that, um, the electricity bill, you know, for the whole rest of the year, um, loads of air conditioning, you know, we, we barely needed to use the air conditioning at all in our house. So I definitely think we need to shift our focus on what constitutes a home, what constitutes value in a home and where we choose to put our money and not be afraid of these rising standards in energy efficiency, because at the end of the day, uh, if, if treated with the respect that, the, that they deserve. Everyone's lives are going to be better. You're going to be in a home where you're going to wake up in the morning. Um, you don't have to like put on a beanie and your slippers. You're warm, ready to start your day. Um, your energy bills are going to be much lower. It's a much healthier environment to, to live in. And you can get on with worrying about other things rather than just complaining about how poorly your, your home performs all the time.